All right, hello everybody and welcome to part two of this tutorial. So as you can see for this shot right here, our shot is sort of moving around because it is a handheld shot. It is not a lockdown uh, shot. The camera was not placed on the tripod. So you can see the shot is sort of moving around. Now due to high uh, time constraint purposes, we are going to only uh, remove the boom pole from this little portion of the shot. Not too much of the shot. So I'm going to split the layer there. So first of all, we start off by using the same technique, except this time with motion tracking. So first of all, let's identify our clean plate first. Now in the back of the shot, there's a bit where the boom pole is not visible. So let's go ahead and make this frame here, our clean plate by doing the same right click, time, freeze frame. So we're gonna stretch that layer all over the uh, bottom layer. So the top layer is the freeze frame of our clean plate. Now let's disable the top layer so we can't see it. We can see the bottom layer here. Now what we're going to do now is we are actually going to track the motion of this bottom layer. So we start with the first frame. This is the first frame. And to track the motion, we are just going to use After Effects built-in tracker. So over here, we have the tracker window. Now if the tracker window is not showing up, go to the top toolbar, hit Window and then make sure tracker is enabled. And then you should see the tracker window. This is the tracker window. We're going to hit track motion. All right, sorry, we, ha we had this wrong layer selected. Make sure you are selecting the bottom layer, not the top layer. We want to track the bottom layer because all the motion is obviously in the bottom layer. So hit track motion and then you'll be given a track point. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take rotation as well, position and rotation. You can uh, take scale as well if your frame sort of zooms in and out during the take. But right now, we are not zooming in and out. We're shooting using a fixed lens. So we're going to take position and rotation. Now, what we're going to do here is we are going to position our track points. These are our track points. You can scale and move the track points about. We're going to position them over um, some high contrast areas, whereas it will be very easy for Adobe After Effects to identify the motion. So we're going to try to identify some nice dark spots like in my, on my curtain here. There are nice, there are these nice black dots that will make perfect tracking points. So let's take this point over here. Now, because we have position and rotation, it's going to be a two-dimensional track, so we need two points. So for the other point, let's go with this point here. So we'll scale the track point to only what is required. And then we're going to hit track forward, this analyze forward. And you can see after the fact, we'll start tracking the motion of the frame. A little bit more and it is done so right now we need to apply the tracking data to something we are not going to apply the tracking data directly to our clean plate because we want to isolate the tracking data so uh, everything is sort of independent it gives you more layers of control over your editing so we're going to go to layer new null object we will apply the tracking data to the null object and then we will edit the target over here at the tracking window edit target select null one that is the null object layer we just created so once we're done just hit apply apply dimensions x and y okay and now the tracking data is applied to our null object so once the data is applied we can see how the null object moves magically along with our frame so now we're done we need to move our clean plate layer which i've disabled right here what we're going to do is we're going to parent our clean plate layer to our null object so that the clean plate layer moves with the null object the movement is going to be relative to the null object because we've parented it to the null object so it's basically going to be moving with the null object so now we can see as we turn on our clean plate layer, it is moving along with our null object. However, we can see the clean plate layer isn't exactly aligned with our layer because obviously the frame is moving about. So what we need to do here is we actually need to align our clean plate layer. So we are going to our drop down menu under transform, reduce the opac uh, opacity to something like 50%. 
and then just move the position about until it lines up with the layer below. Can be a little tricky. I'm just going to grab the mouse, gonna zoom in a little bit. Now when doing this, you don't have to worry about all this messing up the motion tracking because like we've done earlier, we've applied the tracking data to the null layer and then we've parented this to the null layer. So the movement of this layer is actually relative to the null layer. So we are not actually changing any position data from the tracking. The movement of our clean plate layer here is relative. And that top layer is looking pretty aligned. Let's go back to fit. And yes, it is looking pretty aligned. So let's bring the opacity back up. Actually, let's not bring it back up. We're going to start masking. So the same technique as before. Now we have our clean plate following our bottom layer. We can just mask around the boom pole. So let's bring the opacity back up to 100%. Now because everything is moving about, it would be best to add a bit of feather to the mask. So let's go to the mask drop down menu and the mask feather, let's set it to 30 pixels, maybe more, 35 pixels. Oops. All right. So now let's give it a playback. Now you can see we no longer see the boom pole because it has been removed. However, if you take a look at the left of the frame, you can see there's still a little bit of the boom pole visible because the frame is moving about. So the, this edge, the edges of the frame are constantly moving in and out of the frame. So what we can do to fix this is select all these three layers, right click, hit pre-compose, OK. So it will pre-compose the layer. Basically, we can just hide that boom pole by simply scaling up our video. So let's scale our video up. So it drifts into the plane a little bit here. Scale it up a little more. All right. So now we can no longer see the boom pole and the boom pole is removed from our frame. Simple as that, it may seem a little trickier due to the motion tracking, this and that, but it's actually pretty simple uh, overall. So that is it everyone, this is how you remove a boom pole from a handheld shot that is not locked down. So I hope my video has been able to help you. Thank you very much for watching, leave any questions if you have, have any, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, leave a comment as well. Thank you very much for watching, I will see you in the next video.